Do you need a really awesome looking Halloween mannequin for your Halloween display like this right here? Then check out this tutorial. The first thing you're going to do is go shopping. I got my stuff at Lowe's so I'm going by Lowe's prices. I ended up getting four PVC uh, pipes five foot in length, five T's, four 45 degree elbows, eight 90 degree elbows, two crosses, and from Walmart after summer clearance I got two thick pool noodles and one thin pool noodle. Um, you're also going to have things like PVC glue and hot glue and whatever you end up using the head for the head. Um, all my PVC pipe stuff was about $33, but I would budget in total about $40 depending on what you find for the head and stuff like that. Um, also, I had some wire that I bought to make the hands. Forgot about that one. So yeah, probably around $40. You're also going to want one of these handy dandy PVC cutters. Uh, I don't remember how much this was, but it was probably around $10 or maybe a little bit over. But they are awesome. They just slice right through PVC basically. You take a couple cranks on the handle and you're through. Perfect for this kind of work. So at some point I'll include a schematic of how I laid out this dummy. Uh, but Basically what I did was I put PVC up against my body and tried to make all the cuts and stuff like that, the, all the pieces after they're assembled um, match up with the length of like my arms and legs and torso and stuff like that. But what I'm going to do here first is do a dry fit. I want to put all of this stuff together and make sure it's going to be the right height and dimensions and things like that, that that I need before I go gluing because I don't want to glue it all together and find out that I messed up somewhere. Here it is pretty much fully assembled, not glued together yet. I'm just making some adjustments. I made the rib cage the way I did so that way you could expand it to a di different width if you want, wanted to to make like a huskier person. Um, and also... I made the elbows kind of weird. Like one arm just hangs straight down, but the other arm I wanted to be up, kind of holding a phone. So I made the joints look kind of like an arm like that. Um, another issue that I kind of have sometimes is dressing these things. What you want to do is make sure that you can point the arm straight up, typically, and just kind of um, fit the shirt over the arms, which I wasn't quite doing here because it's not my final fit. I was just trying to see um, how much I thought I'd have to pad this out with the pool noodles. So this is the PVC gluing part and I did this outside because this stuff stinks and um, you don't want to be doing this inside. You want a well ventilated area. You should probably be wearing some kind of mask and definitely gloves but I did not do this because I'm a big dummy. So don't learn from me. Get some gloves. And the gluing process itself is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I take the joints and I will glue inside the joints and then just a nice stiff push of the pipe into the joint. And it's pretty much solid like seconds after that it seems like. Another thing you want to remember, this is very important when you're gluing this thing together you're gonna want to leave some points of articulation, some points where this thing can move a little bit. I like my legs and ankles to be rock solid, so I'm gonna glue those down first. And um, after I get the bottom part that comes across to the T in the middle, I'm not gonna glue that T part because I wanna be able to swivel at the waist in case I need to turn this guy at the waist have them face in a different direction. Also, um, you probably want to be able to swivel at the neck. I made it so I can also swivel at those um, parts where it kind of forms the rib cage. And I can also swivel at the arms so that way I can point the arms up when I'm trying to get the shirt on. That's very helpful, very important. Here we have our guy. He is 
mostly done, all glued together, but what you need to do is add some pool noodles because they're going to give this thing a little bit more girth and make it seem less bony. Um, I see a lot of the Halloween store ones, and it seems like they just have black PVC pipe underneath of them. But I like to try to fill it out a little bit with foam and stuff like that. Uh, so the way that I get the foam to stay on the dummy is um, hot glue. I, I like to use a high temperature hot glue because I think it holds better. But uh, watch your fingers because that stuff burns like crazy. But it holds very well and uh, it works perfect with PVC and foam. Another really great useful thing to do is to get a nice sharp bread knife and with one of those you can cut contours into the foam and make it look a little less boxy. Okay so like I said you want to have these points of articulation at the arms so you can put the arms up and it's a lot easier to dress the mannequins this way. Now this head that I have on the mannequin this is a head that I made um, for another project a long time ago and basically all it is is just like cardboard that I cut and glued into the shape of a head and then I did a little tiny bit of paper mache over the top of it. Another thing that is really great is um, these like hair studio heads. I find these a lot at Goodwills like these Mitchell hair model heads, I, I don't know exactly what you call them, cosmetology heads, uh, that people practice cutting hair on. If you can find those at Goodwill and you and you like Halloween and stuff, pick them up because they work for all kinds of things. You can stick a PVC pipe in the base of the head real easy and mount it on one of these things. Um, so you can also, you know, stick them in your fridge and scare your kids. They're great whatever you want to do. But this was just a, a dummy that I was putting a mask on, so I didn't really care what the head looked like. So that's why we have this weird uh, half-painted, half-newspaper head going on here. We're finally about done here. Looking pretty cool. But he's going to need some hands. So uh, one trick I came up with for making the hands is um, I used a couple extra... PVC tees and um, I'm trying to put it where the palm of the hand would be and then I take this it's a stiff wire but it's still flexible enough that you can bend it around your fingers and I'm trying to make the shape of a hand basically um, and then after you make the bones out of this wire what you do to fill out the fingers a little bit better is take aluminum foil and wrap it around those joints and like that metal is all nice and flexible so you can put a glove on it you can have a, a nice gloved hand and you can make it grip things just by bending the wire around you know if you want them to hold a weapon and stuff like that it actually works pretty well and is very cheap and very easy So here at the house is some of the mannequins that I put together using this method. They look pretty cool. Um, one thing you have to do is, is get some like yard stakes or something like that and drive them into the ground. And I usually just zip tie the PVC pipes to the yard stakes and it seems to work out pretty good. So let me know in the comments below. If you end up using some of these tutorials, I'd like to see some of the stuff that you make. And uh, you can hit me up on the Twitter at PlatinumDragon7. See ya!